your destiny is controlled by this big blue icon called Facebook. And you want to make sure that you control your own destiny. And that's why you want to capture phone numbers and emails. And I have been preaching nonstop about the process of acquiring these identities along the way. Uh, I can tell you something very interesting that um, this is something that I learned actually from one of our account managers who's uh, one of our best account managers, His name is Dan. He was talking about creating offers for people uh, based on the conditioning that Amazon is doing for our own e-commerce outside uh, Amazon. So that has been quite successful. We have been doing really well with uh, selling on our e-commerce and, uh, and selling on these uh, our own e-commerce platforms just from uh, promoting the Prime Day in our own e-commerce shops. Okay, so that's something that's um, very interesting how this whole thing goes way beyond Amazon, things that we have been observing. Yep, so first, um, housekeeping item would be the uh, new messenger placement or new messages campaign placement. Previously, you can only place um, placements to um, WhatsApp and ManageChat or Messenger directly. Facebook just released um, a feature that you can now send um, traffic directly to your Instagram Instagram DM. That's crazy. Which hopefully in the near future we can also now integrate with ManageChat, but that would be in the future. That's going to be very exciting. Now I can tell you one thing. After conversations, I don't know if you guys, um, how many of you guys attended? Conversations Conference 2020, the digital one. Uh, we have a, I'm actually gonna go and get it, all right? So I'm gonna disappear for about 10 seconds. You guys can still hear me probably because I have my lapel microphone. So I'm walking in and there's echo now because these guys are training over here. But I'm gonna show you guys something, all right? And this is for, for something that, um, that um, I want to show you guys this award, all right, that we were just given by the great organization of ManyChat. All right, so check that out. Let me see if we can show clearly what it says. It says, ManyChat, the Manny Award, top performing agency, AGM Marketing. How cool is that? So this marketing agency that is teaching you all this ninja stuff that me and Jonald and Jorge, we're like in, in implementing all the strategies across our organization. We are the top performing marketing agency worldwide, not in the US, not in a month, in the entire year. So it's a big deal, all right? So uh, we actually got uh, this award. Um, maybe, hopefully some of you guys saw it. Uh, Mike Yang, uh, who's the CEO of Manichak, got on stage. Uh, not really on stage, he got on Zoom and he had thousands of people there and he announced AGM Marketing as a top performing marketing agency around the world. So because of that, we had a, a VIP um, meet and greet with Mike, even though I already had met him. Uh, we had a great um, one hour Zoom call with him. It was actually one hour and a half. Uh, Jonathan and I were a part of it. And uh, we talked about the present and the future of, of ManyChat, a lot of it, and what they're working on and things that are still even confidential. But one of the things that, that uh, there's Coach Jorge right, right there, by the way, we call him Coach Jorge, just so you guys get used to it. Okay. You're, gonna know more, you're gonna know more about why we call him Coach Jorge. There's a history behind that. Uh, the first um, part of that history is that he was a fitness coach and he actually has a video on YouTube which went kind of viral with hundreds of thousands of views. Uh, way back when, before I think we worked. That, that's, that's gone though, that fitness, that, that's old, old news. <laughs> <laughs> He's into marketing now, not into fitness as much. But Coach Orr has started, started there, but he's a great coach. So you're gonna, you guys are going to keep seeing him more as part of the coaching program and all the content. Anyways, I was saying that we were, on, we were with Mike Yang uh, on a Zoom call. Uh, actually, Jorge was at my house, but he was on family time uh, with his daughter. So I was like listening while I was barbecuing and talking to Mike Yang. And, and uh, I said, I got a chance to ask Mike a question. And I said, Mike, um, We've been talking about this for so long and I even had a, a side bet with one of my staff that, that you were going to announce an integration with Instagram DM. And I lost money, man. 
So can you tell me, why did you make me look bad? Uh, you only announced WhatsApp and um, you didn't announce Instagram and they're doing a close WhatsApp beta right now. We're a part of it. It's only about six people that are a part of it. Uh, we are one of them. Um, so that's exciting. But I asked about Instagram DM, which I'm really excited about, especially for the US market. And he looked at me and he said, Manuel, I cannot confirm or deny that the Instagram direct messaging connection is about to happen. And he did that. And uh, so as, as soon as he did that right there, I said, okay, it's coming. So any day now, we're going to have the ability, it's going to be integrated, it's already available because when you go to the business manager and you create a campaign, you have the ability to select Instagram DM as the place where you start that conversation with. So the API for Instagram DM is open, just like the WhatsApp API is now open and they're working on all the integrations as we speak. But Instagram DM will be another Facebook Messenger any day now. So your channel would just literally be uh, doubled, just like that. Because everybody that has an Instagram account, which is in the billions of people with a B, uh, they have actually Instagram direct messaging. So it, it's, we're going into a very different era right now because also I'm sure uh, they're going to replicate a lot of the rules that they have actually developed along the way with Messenger, but we have a brand new channel that we can start conversations with and extract phone numbers and emails because the name of the game continues to be not Messenger as an end all, Messenger as a via to bring them into your world so you can extract phone numbers and emails because without those phone numbers and emails, your destiny is controlled by this big blue icon called Facebook. And you want to make sure that you control your own destiny. And that's why you want to capture phone numbers and emails. And I have been preaching nonstop about the process of acquiring these identities along the way, ever since Facebook announced the 24 hour rule implementation. Donald, how long is it ago right now? Regarding the 24 hour rule, um, it was actually launched or started uh, by March 15, 2020. It was wow, originally so, March 4th. They extended it to March 15th. Okay. So it's only been six, six seven months. It's, it's, it's been fully implemented now. And, and there's a lot of things going on um, that if you violate these rules, you're going to lose a channel. And we've seen it already a couple of times. So you, you definitely have to comply with it. Um, the other thing about it is that if you guys haven't started with the text messaging, they are giving you $100 for free. Uh, to do text messaging, so that's cool. Um, and I think they're giving you, what is it, John, all the 100,000 emails for free also? Um, everyone will get 200,000 emails for free, 10,000 SMS for free. That's nice. Um, if you haven't gotten those, um, you actually, there is going to be a pop-up on your dashboard. Just click on that to, to claim the free emails and SMS. And just to add, um, during the VIP meeting, actually, ManaChat has to put the limit because of AGM. Because if they didn't put the limit we on are the emails, reason they're why go We are the reason, and that's confirmed. AGM mm -hmm. is the reason why they had to cap the limit. They had to cap how many free emails and messages they're sending. It's a fact. Um, why? Look at that good looking guy right there. In our case, we would have had millions of free text messages uh, because we have accounts with millions of subscribers in some cases. And he even joked about that. He said, like, man, oh, like, we had to cap it companies like you, you are not normal. You're unicorns and you have pretty big list. So, so uh, we, we definitely walk the talk with you guys. And I want to just make sure that you guys know that you have, uh, you're in the right hands. All right. So whatever we teach you, all right, has won us awards. We do not win an award because we teach you. All right. You guys being here and getting our templates uh, and getting our funnels do not help us win awards. We win awards because we do what we talk about because we implement what we preach. Yeah, well, so, you said that uh, two, two little accounts are using the multi-channel. So he wants to, you know, incentivize people. With, so you got to take advantage of that and just learn it. Once, like, once we started figuring it out, I mean, there's no going back anymore. And uh, we're able to get a lot more engagement using the SMS and the email now, bring people back into the conversation. Yeah, and I think that uh, to your point, Ori, I, I see a lot of people complain about, oh, Facebook changed the rules, the 24-hour rule, but they, they're missing the picture here. They're missing the opportunity of the facility, the, the ease, the simplicity of being able to capture identities, right? 
Because it is, it is like that, it's very simple. So you guys need to go and get into implementation mode with this. All right, yes. what do you think, John? Do you think it's easy? It's complicated to uh, start capturing emails and phone numbers? It's actually pretty easy to, to capture um, those information, um, especially with the templates um, that we are actually giving out. All you have to do is just plug and play and start running it. Uh, okay, so the last thing that I have um, when it comes to housekeeping is that Jonathan and I have been very actively working on this whole thing called Facebook shops. And uh, we're still trying to figure it out, uh, the whole thing, but it, there's an integration with Shopify now. Uh, you have the ability to select checkout on Shopify or checkout on Facebook. And uh, in our case, we are selecting checkout on Shopify because when you select checkout on Shopify, the whole orders go through the regular system and the automation that we have in place. We have a, a system called uh, Shipping Easy, which is how we get the printed labels for shipping. Um, we have a, um, a we have a, uh, a processing company uh, called Ajo Aaron. This is our POS, our point of sale system. Shopify does send us that. If we only have Facebook shop, there is no integration with any of that. So we're using Facebook shop integration with Shopify so people can check out, they can see the listings and all the data inside Facebook, but when they go to add to cart and check out, it goes to check out on Shopify. So we're still testing that out. That out. There are some restrictions with products that we're trying to work through it. Once we get more data, we're gonna get that over to you so you can see it. I know we have sold, uh, what is it, John, $15,000 without promoting right now? Something around there. Yeah, you're on mute now. You're on mute, so you're talking oh. to yourself. <laughs> it's actually above 15,000 um, by now uh, without actually promoting or paying anything in regards to paid advertising. It's all organic. Right. Exactly. So uh, $15,000 of uh, selling uh, products without promoting it anywhere just from organic traffic. So there's a lot of potential on that platform. So we're still trying to figure that out. I'm going to read this question from Claudia. How long does Facebook ad campaign run before start seeing performance drop and cost per result to go high? And how often to create a new campaign for the same product that needs to generate minimum of 50 products uh, minimum of 50 messenger subs for supplement rebate. Will increasing the budget by 25% improve the reach without restarting the Aldo algorithm, she meant to say, of the existing ad sets? Um, the answer, Claudia, um, I'll, I'll give you a couple of details on this. Never increase your budget by more than 10%. Uh, always do a 10% budget increase if you want to keep whatever results you were getting with that particular uh, audience right there. Don't change that right there. The other thing is that um, the, uh, how long until you start seeing performance drop depends on the size of your audience and the quality of that audience in combination with the creative that you selected. If the creative is good and the audience is big, that can last for months. If the creative is okay, but the audience is small, that's only probably going to last you a few days. So it really does depend on a number of factors that it's impossible to just give you a one-off answer to that particular question right there. If you're trying to generate message subscribers, 50 a day for doing a product rebate offer, uh, we definitely recommend that you go broad. You can go after coupon hunters, uh, Walmart uh, uh, followers, uh, people that are in that world, the dollar club, the, uh, what is it called? The, uh, the dollar store and all these places that are more like affordable, that people are looking for deals and specials. That's what you can go after uh, for, in regards to uh, building people, uh, subscribers who come into that particular rebate, but also keep in mind that your best audience will be the one that is going to be a lookalike audience from the people that are already coming into your rebate offer. So if you have 500 people, 1,000 people that already came in, go ahead and create a lookalike audience. You can even do a dynamic lookalike audience from these people. Yes. And when they come in uh, to Messenger, feed that audience from Messenger and just get Facebook to help you find new people to come in. And that's the best thing that you can do. So just create with interest your first people to come in, get enough data, and then start doing lookalikes and get that data consistently sent to the Facebook business manager. Would you agree, Donald? 
Yes, uh, I would really agree with the lookalike or the dynamic lookalike audience. Since those are your ideal audience that already opted into your rebate offer, once you create a lookalike audience out of those, Facebook will tend to find you the same or almost the same type of audiences. That's right. So 10% uh, increase a day, Claudia, at the most, 24 hours. And if you want to increase that uh, spend because you need to spend more money, then don't touch that campaign. Just go ahead and duplicate it and find a new audience that excludes the other one because otherwise you might have overlapping. So you can grab that audience and save it as an audience and then duplicate the campaign and go after the same exact uh, strategy, but then exclude that audience that you're using on that one that's already producing you some results and put that advertising budget on that new one if you need to uh, scale more aggressively. That's what I would do in this example. Yes, and one more thing for Claude. Yeah, what we actually do is um, for rebate campaigns, we have or we normally start with a $100 budget. Um, the good thing with it is if you already reach your goal, um, you can just easily turn off or pause the campaigns and then turn it on again the next day. If you haven't paused or turned, on or turned off your campaigns for more than 24 hours, it normally wouldn't reset the learning phase. So basically what John is saying, go higher than what you want to spend so you can get the results that you're looking for, turn it off and turn it back, back on the next day. So if you're doing that yes. consistently every day, you won't have a problem with uh, the uh, algorithm and uh, affecting your performance overall. Yes, Very good. we have been doing that and we have been seeing great results out of it as well. So if um, you're doing $100 per day already per campaign and you're not getting the numbers, then you might need to try out more audiences until you find one that helps you get Result. But if you're getting 50 subscribers for $100, you're not doing bad. $2 per subscriber on Messenger is not a bad number. I know we have gotten pennies sometimes. John, would you say the $2 is horrible? It, it's not, depending on your niche. Um, but mostly we do actually get um, some big accounts cheaper, cost per result. But yeah, it, it's a good amount of number, or a good amount of cost per result. So she says, I'm not doing 50 with supplements. Uh, you can. We have done that many times already with our products, with Dr. Berger and Natural Slim. So you've got to find a bigger audience and make sure that you maybe instead of doing 100 a day, do 200 and get to that number and then stop the campaign. So you don't have to spend the whole thing. Um, we're, go we're going really deep into it, Claudia, but CBO uh, is something that we talked about quite a bit. Uh, CBO is a great strategy for uh, warm audiences. It's not that great for if you want to get a certain number and if you want to find an audience, you better go ABO. Uh, yes. Because if you, do, if you do ABO, you're going to be able to control the budget at the different ad set level. And I prefer to do that because then I can control the audience discovery process and getting the number that I want for that day. So for this particular strategy, no, 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 no CBO. Not for, not for double the funnel. CBO is fantastic for bottom of the funnels, middle of the funnels.